first up, it is confirmed that Robin Dixon has been fired. So I will at least give her this amount of credit that she's admitting that she was fired and not sort of be, being like, oh, I was put on pause or it was my choice or it was mutual. You know how a lot of, you know, bitter Betty housewives I get fired, they try and lie and say that it was their idea or it was a mutual or they wanted to take a pause, but we all know they got fired. So I will give Robin that at least, you know, that she's being honest. So let's break down exactly what happened. And then I also have a clip of her talking about it on her Reasonably Shady podcast. So this is from People Magazine. It says, Robin Dixon confirms exit from Real Housewives of Potomac after eight seasons. Quote, I was fired. Yeah, girl, you were. The Real Housewives of Potomac continues to experience more casting shakeups following the show's rocky eighth season. Robin Dixon is leaving Bravo's Maryland set iteration after eight seasons. She announced on the newest episode of her podcast, Reasonably Shady, that published on Monday, April 15th. Yes, I will not be returning for season nine of The Real Housewives of Potomac, Dixon 45 said. It's for reality. The network did not invite me back. I was fired for lack of better words. I will not sugarcoat the situation, the situation and say, oh, I'm walking away and this is a break or anything like this. This is a network decision. Like I said before, I, I will give her kudos for that, for being honest, because we get a lot of people who like to act like they weren't fired, but they were. And side note, I'm not referring to Candace Dillard Bassett, because I actually think that she really, it was her choice to take a step back. And we'll get to her great news that I think played a part into it later. Okay. Dixon was one of the franchise's original cast members when the series premiered on January 26th alongside Giselle Bryant, Ashley Darby, Karen Huger, Sharice Jackson, Jordan, and Katie Ross. Bryant, Darby, and Huger were all part of season eight cast alongside Candace, Dr. Wendy, Mia Thornton, and NECA. Despite the sad news, Dixon told Bryant, her reasonably shady co-host and Rahab co-star, that she's at peace with her exit from the series. I'm okay with it because nothing lasts forever. I've never had a very long run on the show. I've, ha I've had a very long run on the show, and I just really appreciate that time and the opportunity that I had on the show. The mother of two said before extenuating her gratitude to the network and to Truly Original, the production company behind Roja. Now, I'm going to play exactly what she said because I do have the clip of it. But this is the thing. If I was Robin, <laughs> I would be so pissed. But honestly, it's her own fault. Like, Bravo, truly original, NBC gave you so many chances and so many passes. They basically said, you really screwed up last year. You got exposed for your fake marriage to Juan. You got exposed for your fake relationship with him. He was exposed, cheating on you left, right, and center all over the place. And instead of bringing that to the show for a storyline, which is what we are paying you for, you kept it a secret and you actively and strategically attacked your other co-stars to the point of making up lies about them and their husbands and their families to deflect and, de and defer from what actually is going on in your, in your own real life. And then you say, go pay me on Patreon to get a skinny on my real life when isn't NBC paying you for that? But they still gave you a huge chance by bringing you back for season eight. Now, I've always said, I don't think they brought Robin back for season eight because they like Robin. I think they brought Robin back for season eight because they wanted a return on their investment. Now that Robin and Juan had so much in the news, you know, about him being fired, about the essay charges at the university with the student, you know, about Canada Girl and him with the laundromat with these other women and is the marriage real or fake, all this juicy stuff going on. Bravo, NBC, Truly Original, they wanted to capitalize on all of that. So I'm pretty sure she was put on notice. Like, we're going to bring you back, but you need to bring it. Because it's clear that the rest of the cast was put on notice. That's why you had Giselle, for the first time in her life, being like, let's have an intervention with Robin and talk about Juan. And you could tell it was so scripted and so set up because Giselle was like, I'm not about to lose this bag over you, Robin. So if they want me to come at you, I'm going to come at you. But I'm going to do it in the most non-coming-at-you way ever because 
I don't really want to do this, but I want to keep my bag and I want to keep my spot on the show. And then Robin and Juan showed up and still continued to be liars and basic and boring and mean and deflecting and just all around quite insufferable people, to be honest with you. It was no longer, Robin was just mean and miserable and just insufferable to watch. Juan just oozed disdain and disinterest and just an attitude. And like, the thing is, both Robin and Juan sort of had this above it all attitude. Like, why do you care? I don't care. Stop coming after me, blah, 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 blah. And it's just like, why do you have this holier than thou attitude when y'all are the biggest fakes and phonies on the freaking show? You know, at least other people are bringing their realness to the show and y'all are the biggest fakes and phonies. And then come to the reunion, Robin must have known she was getting fired. Juan didn't even show up to the reunion. You knew she was getting fired after that. And then she still didn't concede or take accountability or be honest about anything. But then she had the audacity and it was literally like, so hard to watch, then she had the audacity to question anybody else during the reunion. Like, oh, to Candace and Chris, oh, so the screenshots of like your peen, those weren't real, those were photoshopped. Like, shut up, Robin. You literally said you went through Juan's phone and it was erased, but yet in that, and you had no questions about that. That wasn't, you don't, you don't check Juan, you don't push back, you don't have any qualms when it comes to Juan literally being community peen at this point, but yet you want to go after Candace and Chris? Like, so anytime Robin tried to hold anybody accountable, it was so cringy and insufferable. Even with Ashley and Michael, when Robin was talking about um, Ashley and Michael not being divorced, but well, what does Michael think? Does he just not care? He's just okay with you guys pretending? Like, um, are you talking to Michael or are you talking to Juan? Because quiet is this kept, Juan is closer to Michael than he is to you, Robin. In every sense of the word, in my humble opinion, allegedly, for entertainment purposes only. You know what I'm saying? So anytime Robin tried to hold anybody accountable, It was just the most wackest, most bizarre, most irritating, most nauseating thing I have seen in a very long time. So Robin, I am happy you're fired. I'm not happy in the sense of reveling in somebody's demise or somebody not getting a bag or money to support their family. I'm happy in the sense only from the perspective of you are no longer entertaining when you are on a television show that is meant to entertain. That's it. Not on a personal, like your finances and being able to provide. I would never be happy for somebody not having a, um, economic resources for their family. So when I say I'm happy she's fired, I don't mean it in that way. I just mean it in a, if I'm going to watch a television show that's a, supposed to be reality, I want to be entertained. I want it to be, re- I want it at least to be reality in the sense that it's believable. It doesn't have to be real because people are allowed to have their real lives and also just be personas. That's fine. But when it comes to the point of you're deliberately lying and then not, uh, and then on top of that, you are actively plotting against other people to the demise and the detriment of their families. That's when I have a problem with it. So bye, Robin. Bye, bye, bye. But let's listen to her talk about it on the Reasonably Shady podcast. Will not be returning to season nine of The Real Housewives oh. of Potomac. I to was... hear you say it out your mouth, like it's like killing my heart right now. <laughs> and I obviously it's... I know this information, but like to hear you say it. Right. It's reality. Oh. It's, it's reality. The, the network did not invite me back. Um, I was fired, for lack of better words. (laughs) And I will not, you know, sugarcoat the situation and say, oh, I am walking away and this is a break or anything like this. This was a network decision. Um, And, you know, and I'm okay with it because nothing lasts forever. And I, I know, you know, I had a very long run on the show. Yes. Eight seasons is a long time. Eight seasons, for sure. Um, and I just, you know, I don't have anything, like, written to <laughs> to read off of. So I'm just, like, yeah. speaking. Um, and I just really appreciate the time and the opportunity that I had on the show. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I just want to say thank you to 
the network, Bravo, Truly Original, the production company, the executives there, the people who gave me the opportunity to be on the show, who saw something in me um, in 2015, I think. Was that when we filmed season one? Yeah, because so, yeah. it premiered in 2016. Uh-huh. Um, you know, the people who saw something in me um, and thought that they, you know, wanted me to be a part of their network, their show, their platform, and to share my story and my life, um, my family, my trials and tribulations, my ups and downs, um, and you know, the the beautiful friendships that I have on the show. Um, yeah. You know, so first of all, thank you to the network and the executives. Thank you to all of the producers, all mm-hmm. of the crew that mm-hmm. we've worked with. Um, thank you to the fans, yeah. of course, who've watched us from day one, especially our day oneers, um, who you know when Bravo announced the Real Housewives of Potomac was coming on, and they saw you know this weird city. <laughs> You know, they're like, they're, what's Potomac? Yeah, they're like, where? Why do we want to watch this? Yeah. And they said, well, let's give it a chance. And they they watched it. They loved it. They grew with us. They told their friends, who told their friends, yep. and um, you know, they they loved us, loved us or hated us, whatever it would be. But they, they watched, watched us. Yeah. yeah. But I do want to. I had enough for her voice. Sorry, guys. I had to cut the clip. I had to cut it. I had to cut it. It was enough. But you heard it from Robert's mouth herself. She has been fired from the show and she's leaving. Now, where I will give her grace, like I said, I'm happy that she's admitting that she left. But I also like the fact that if we learn anything from people like Anna Marie, who leaves the, who leaves the show, or Elisa Renna, who's fired from the show, I like that she's not bashing the network and she's not bashing production because a lot of times when they get fired they start to bash everybody and bash their co-stars it's better to do it this way to be honest that you got fired to leave humbly because then maybe you can be brought back whether for ultimate girls trip or a friend of or after a pause right so at least she's doing it that way but to be honest with you bye robin Don't let the door hit you on the way out or the good Lord split you. It is all good. Bye-bye. Go take care of Juan. Keep Ashley's name or keep Candace's name out of your mouth. Keep Chris's name out of your mouth. Keep Karen's name out of your mouth. And go don't care and be dry and funky and unbothered off our screens. So bye, Robin. But I want to know what you guys think. Put it down below. Are you going to miss Robert next season? But even beyond that, Who do you think should be brought back next season? Or do you think it's time for a complete reboot? I think it's time for a complete reboot. Candace is leaving. Robin is fired. NECA is fired. We're going to get into that. Um, That's our next story. Karen, I think, needs to maybe go to some type of AA program. And I mean that that seriously, getting multiple DUIs. It's not funny. And Karen's the only person I would want to tune in for. So I don't know what you guys think. Put it down below. But before you do that, be sure to like, subscribe, and share. So next, our next story is NECA is allegedly fired.